magicians. So that is where we have left off. Um, can you read this one for me? Who is it? That's a good guess. It it's um Sashizu, which this can be read as Yubi as well. Um, but here it's a uh, Sashizu. You know what Sashizu means? This one is to to point out. Uh, it's like um, what is it? What kind of a map is it? It's 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 a direction. It has to do with directions, yes, and in case right. to give direct directions, to give orders to somebody, give directions. Um, I, yeah. uh, do you know what Tadoritsuku means? Arrive? It does mean to arrive, correct. It tends to be a like finaling kind of arrival versus other arrivals. Can you read this word? Kira, kira gari, kira gari. Close. It's ku, kuragari. What does kuragari mean? Kuragari e shadow shadow yes kuragari does mean the shadows the shadow darkness Hi. and do you know what um tadoru means without the chuku afterwards guessing like step good we, guess we do have steps in this step. specific sentence but it doesn't have anything to do with steps so in the word tadori tuku the tuku is actually the part that is referring to the arrival of a location tadoru actually means to follow specifically in some kind of like following a path kind of way so the idea with Tadoritsuku is that you followed and you reached the end of a insinuated path. That's why it has that finalish kind of meaning here. In this context, the following going on is that the main character is going down a flight of stairs. So that means he has to follow the flight of stairs down step by step into the darkness. He cannot just kind of go woo, 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 wherever. He can't really get lost here. It's not like he's in a forest. So because it's like a straight path that he's taking, they're using tadoru to kind of feel the idea that he's taking step by step straight down. He's not really doing any side trips down on this trip. So tadoru means basically to follow. Um, do you know how to read this part of this word? Men or well, the front side is Mio. Good guess. This is Ura. Yane Ura Beya. Ura. So this is the 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 room that is Ura to the roof. What do you think this means? Yane. Ura Beya, the room that is front of me. So that room is the balcony, I'm guessing. Balcony is a good guess, but do room. most roofs have balconies? Yeah. This is kind of, I guess, sticking off like this, maybe? The balcony from the roof? Like, theoretically, it's possible. I guess if you had a flat roof, you could um, argue that the rooftop is a balcony. But Ura actually means underside. 
So if you take the roof and you go to the underside of the roof, you end up in this room, which is called an attic. So the Hi. attic is a room that is on the other side of the roof, normally. And this is a small house. What is Tadoru mean? Ura. Tadoru is to arrive. Hi. It can mean to arrive to when you have. Or to follow. To, to follow. follow. Hi. Perfect. Oops. And do you know what Shinobi Yoru means? To sneak. It does have sneakiness. Or... So to... shinobi does mean sneak. What does yoru mean? Yoru is... Yoru, yoru. To call? Good guess. You're thinking about yobu. Also? Yobu is to call. This is yoru with a yoru. It's not night, even though it does sound similar, but this is the kanji for yoru. Yoru, with this specific kanji, means to get closer to something. So shinobi yoru means to sneak up towards something. You sneak and get closer to something. Um, how do you read this word? That's pura. Hi. How about this word? Kuragari. Perfect, Kuragari. Let's go read the line from the book. Mm. Okay. So, it's Kura, Kuragari o tadotte on taruru. Just two around. Hi. So, Kuragari o tadotte machutsudo ni. Shinobi Kondo. I sneak up to the magical hall that was, mm, that is to say, when when the night arrived, I sneak up. When the night. Good guess. So when, Kuragari when does not arrived, mean night. It can be shadow. And there's no arriving going on here. What does Tadoru mean? To arrive. No, that's Tsuku. What does Tadoru mm. mean? To... What was it? To follow? It is to follow. Hi. To follow. So we're following something. So following the shadow, Hi. I sneak up to the hall, the conference, or Hi. basically the gathering place. Um, Hi. And ashi no ura ni ataru ishi no yuka ga mitai. The stone floor on the on the bottom of my feet were cold or is cold. Yes, the stone floor is cold. Which stone floor? The one that is touching the bottom of my feet. Hi. So tadoru means to follow. Okay. To follow. But it's a very specific kind of following. Um, is what kind of following is tadoru? Do you have an example? Following the the other one was like an example of a stairway. So it's following mm. a trail, right? It is following, following a trail. Perfect. That's laid out. Yes, so it's not following a butterfly. So when it said following the darkness, it's not actually meaning you're 
uh, see a little darkness creature going somewhere and falling after it. The idea is that there is a trail of darkness and the character is taking it down. So in this context, the idea is that basically he's lurking in the shadows as he gets toward here, but it's uh, being said in a different way. The idea is that whatever location he's at, he, he wants to walk over there, but rather than walking over there in the light, he decides to take his route following the shadows that end up to the location he's trying to end up at, which is like, let's say it's around the corner or whatever. So Kuragari is just the darkness, the shadows. So he keeps to the shadows, could be another way you could translate this, because you get the same idea is that he's going to this location, taking a certain path, keeping to the shadows. So in English, I feel like that would be the easiest way to illustrate the idea that's going on here versus literally translating as to follow the shadows, which does sound weird in English because the shadows feels more like a living creature, which is not insinuated at all in the Japanese version. Um, but just the curse of word soundings having same-ish but different meanings. Um, do you not read this word? Hi. So this is a married word. So it does end with a ka here as it's roka. Pretty sure long o. Roka. You know what a roka is? Roka is. It's not the attic. It's. It's not. It is the hallway. Door. Roka. The, the attic was the Yane Urebeya, which is the room on the other side of the roof. You know what Tsukiatari means? Ataru. Uh, ataru is to touch. It's so to Ataru is to stamp. touch, that is correct, and that is the stamp high. So to cross is the hallway. It, that is a good guess, um, like 100% would make logical sense, but in Tsukiyatari actually means the dead end, the end of the hallway. So when you stab all the way through the roka, you hit something, you touch something, is what it means. So you go straight through and you touch. Um, to cross over is tukiru, tukiru which is that same tsuku right there to stab, but then it's to cut. So it's referring to that cutting halfway through the room, rather than this one is focusing on the touching of something when you try to cut through the room. So that's why when you cut through it and you hit something, well, that's the end of the um, roka. What does roka mean? Roka is the hallway. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? What does that mean? This means the um, it's a room. Hi, it's a room. It's a meeting room. It's a meeting room. Perfect. Can you read the example sentence for me? Um, Kaimitsu wa. There is a, a meeting hall or meeting room at, at, on the inlets on that island, basically. Hi. On that low. Perfect. Like the, the, the ground in the middle river of the island. Hi, hi. What does tsukiyatari mean? Tsukiyatari means a dead end. Perfect. Hi. So let's go read the line from the book. Nobody no sweet that. Nebari no ite ita tori. 
帰り実は長い。廊下の突き当たりにあった。けれど、ドアが閉まっている。First sentence is There was a Sukiatari n i at the dead end of the hallway. Roka no Sukiatari n i There is,、uh, I'm sorry, at the end of the long hallway. Nagai Roka no Sukiatari n i There is or there was a Kaigi Sitsu, a meeting room. n e b a r i no Ite Ita Ite from EU, Ita as in Iru. So as according or as said. By nobody. Tori is it's like, it's like, it's true. It's. Hi. You already translate that. It matches. Just as n e v e r y said. Hi. Just as n e v e r y said, there was a meeting room at the end of the long hallway. Keredo, however, Doaga, the door, shimatte iru is, is shimatte, meaning it is it's closed. Hi, it is in the state of closeness. Hi. Do you know what、um, Uzukumaru closed, means?、Hi. Uzukumaru. Like,、um, It's a motion verb. It is a motion verb, correct. Uzukumaru. It's the first time we've seen it,、and、so totally makes sense why we confuse it. It has legs inside of it, and legs are needed. Uzukumaru means to crouch, but specifically, it's a little bit、um, like a specific kind of crouching. The idea is that if you're crouching with Uzukumaru, your hands are probably on the floor. So, because of that, This is being used because the main character is currently in what form? He is a、um, Mizu. No, no, he is a, a, a,、um, he is a Neko. Hi. So,、um, whenever、nice. a cat does、oh, he's the a red. He's... Yes, he's a Neko. So, whenever a cat does the thing where they look like bread, that's the cat crouching. That, that's, and, so, and so that's what the form the main character is doing here. That little、um, curling, they're, they're hunching themselves over, doing their. That, that, that's what he's doing in this context.、Um, humans can uzukumaru, but it probably is going to look like they're cowering if a human is doing it. Khan is not cowering here because he is a cat.、And、that's just how they crouch. They crouch with their hands on the floor. Uh, can you read this word for me? Kiki. Hi. Any idea what it、Can、means? He asks, either he asks a question or he listens into something. That was a good guess. Yeah, it would make sense if it was to ask something, but it is listening. The idea is that it's like to catch. Um, where a c a t c h e thing someone was here, it can be used to ask information about a specific like situation. Like, it has like kiku has both meanings, and toru does a lot of both possibilities. But in this context, Khan the cat is going to be catching some sounds, right, to make out some words. So, kiki toru to take what you can hear. What's the negative form of kikitoru? To not be it, to not catch sounds? To not, to keep it, to run out. Hi. Can you read this word for me? Kikimimi. Perfect. Kikimimi. Any idea what it means? Here it means 
Um, so I'm guessing it's, uh, the, the, it's a noun, so an act of listening. Basically, listen. that is the, yeah, that, that it's the act of trying to listen. It's a perfect way of putting this together. Your ears are trying to tiki. It's a great way of describing it. So in English, you might say to strain your ears. Um, I don't know what straining means, like straining noodles, kind of random. But so the Japanese version makes more sense if you think about it. Um, let's go read this example sentence. I think straining means strenuous, as in laboring oh, or effort. I didn't think about that. Require strenuous work. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. So that here, would make logical sense. It's. Okay. Here is koe wa kikoeru kedo nani o iteiru ka. Here we have kedo is a contrast. So even though uh, the sound can be heard, even though the sound is audible, Nani o itte iru ka something uh, itte from EU. So it's in the progressive form. It's something is um, doing the speaking. Something is being spoken. Hi, something is being uh, spoken. Ka yes. just oh. mean that. So ka is a question here. We don't know what is heard, but it's something. I, yes, it is an embedded uh, question marker. The something being spoken, kiki uh, torenai. I cannot hear what was being said. Perfect. Even though the voice was audible, I could not hear what was being said. Perfect. And why is there a re here? Like you translated it perfectly, this brain teaser. This story re referring to the, um, it's referring to the passive form of the verb. Close. So you're, you're, that'd be is, not is marked by God. Uh, so, so this toru. is So I'm well, guessing this would is be a passive. root verb, and it just this is the ichidan root verb. So it just drop the root, and the stem okay. of the of the verb is kiki tore. Good guess. This is edu form. This is this is edu form. You take tiki toru plus e to make toreru. Edu from Kiki Toru. Toru? Toreru. Just adding Edu to that. Minus U plus Edu, so which is the can edu form. Is... So it's potential form. Potential it's adding the word form. can. So I could not. Hi. I cannot, Hi. could not. Perfect. What did Uzukumaru mean? Uh, we say earlier that it was the the animal on four legs. Just is it standing on four legs? Crouching on four. Legs. Hi, hi, crouching on four legs. Perfect. No. Let's go read. Let's go read this example sentence. Hi. On. Koshaku wa. Uzukumatta. The Duchess crouch on four. Hi, 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 hi. Exactly. Or curled she does. up, I'm guessing. In this context, probably curled up would be fine. 
If you know what like dolls, doll, I don't remember what the word is, but that thing they do in Japan when they're like, ah, that, that would give you that kind of idea. Idea is that you're crouching, but your hands are on the floor. Do you know what oto o tateru means? Oto o tateru. Tateru here in the context of sound is、Hai. the sound is in its being, it's in existence. It's at the Perfect.、Moment. Hai. It's、And、ringing.、Tateru? I'm not ringing, but whatever it is.、Hai. Um, so, oto tateru、Hai. here. Hi, you're totally correct. And it takes O. So you can use that tateru over here with the mimi to not actually mean to be making noises. So here it's oto tateru. The sounds, it's normally the sounds are being made, but I guess you would say it's like the sounds are being heard, whatever works great. If you say kiki mimi o tateru, it basically just means to be.、Um, Listen, it's the, it's the verb that mimi kiki takes. So you don't really say mimi kiki,、uh, kiki mimi o suru. You don't say that. You say kiki, kiki mimi o tateru if you want this to be a verb to、um, basically to stand up your ears so that they're ready to be listening in type of idea.、Um, let's go read the example sentence. Wait, Wait let me see.、Uh, Higure no Kimi wa Kiki Mimi o Tateta. In order to highlight, listen in, or he. Yeah, he listen in. Yeah, he's listening in. He's, or at the very least, he's listening hard. Trying to listen in. He、uh, strains his ears, he pricks them up. He's listening intently. So let's go read the line from the book. Ashi oto o tate zu. Here the zu is the without, right, Mani? Hi. Without making noise. Hi. In the context of moving. Hi.、Uh, ni. Uh, Chikazuki approach. Approach without making sound. Uzuku matte. From Uzuku maru in the te form. So Uzuku matte. Hiki mimi o tata. Uh, he doing two things. He crouches and as he crouches, he l i s t e n i n to. So he he crouches and he l i s t e n Kikoe wa kikoe ru ke do. Although the sound is audio, audible. Nani o ite iru? Something is being said. Nani o ite iru ka? Made wa kiki tore nai.、Uh, this made here is not the destination, but it's more in terms of the degree of something. So, yeah.、Uh, I, I, something is said. There is a sound. The wa here is marking the new topic. So he's saying that despite something is being audible, he can, he's aware that it's something it's saying, but it's, he cannot hear it. Hi. So、something、the.、Like、yes. So, made and wa are basically doing the same job in the sentence as far as like. The vibes they're giving off. The wa is here is for the same reason why you might say, like, sa wa vi wa shinai or something, rather than say, saying, um, sa wa ra nai, right? 
This means does not touch. This also means does not touch. But sori wa shinai feels more dramatic. You're saying, as far as touching goes, I shall not do that. So the wa in this sentence specifically is contrastive wa. So you had a button there, which basically was what it's doing. It's saying even though, it's just making that even though more aggressive. Made is the word until. You could still use until to um, up to. Uh, up to, say, say word, right? up to. So it says, I could not get to the extent up to hearing what they were saying. I guess you can't use the English word for that. Um, but this is this is just saying like even. It's the same as mo. So the mo to made scale. So to the extent of what hearing what they were saying, I was unable to hear it. That's all it's saying. I was not hear, be able to hear it to the extent to get what they were saying. So I guess the get is kind of needed in English. Hi. Yeah, that, that's all it's doing. It's hard to... I, my, I get the sense of what this sentence is saying. It's saying, it's contrasting the koe, which is a generic hi, hi, hi. form of the noun for just sound, sound in general. Uh, so koe is it's voice. saying that he can detect... Oto is sound. Voice. Hey, hi. Hi. So I'm guessing he can detect a general category of voice. He understood that it's voice that can be heard. Mm. But yes. as far as what these voice uh, become a meaningful thing, he could yes. not because EU refer to like speech. Yes. So for him, he knows that it's human, like some kind of conversation. Yes, he knows they should be making words, nice. but he can't make out the words. Hi. Correct. Hi. Up Hi. to, up to the understanding of the verb, he cannot. He can only understood it at the level of voice. I'm guessing yes. that's why the mother is there. Yep, that is true. So perfect. That's exactly what this is. Hi. Um, can you read this word for me? Um, hi, Ura. Hi, Ura. Perfect. How about this word up here? It, this is Kura Gari. Hi, Kura Gari from Kura Gari. Um, darkness. Um, what does ashi no ura ni ataru um, ishi no yuka mean? It means that the floor, the stone floor, that where my foot landed on, ataru. Hi. Hi, hi. Perfect. The, the mm. underside of my foot. Hi. And what? how do you read this yeah. word? Ro the hallway. Hi, perfect. What's a potential form of this word? Hairu in potential form is hairu. Hi. Let's go read the example sentence. Chikusho is an anime uh, swear word. Darn it. Chikusho. Darn it. Naka ni. Naka from like what? No, naka, not nani. But here you say naka ni. Oh, inside, inside. Hi. You say inside. Hi, I cannot go inside. Hi. Nante, why can't I get inside? That is a way you could literally translate that, but it doesn't miss like the why nante is there. Um, nande. If you have that, that is more like the actual word why. But nante does come from that. Nante is like nante koto, like such a thing as that. It is a word put into a sentence to just kind of show like exasperation. 
almost. It, it's it's basically the same as like konna, um, anna, or sonna as a word, but nante goes after whatever thing it's modifying, while konna, anna, and sonna all go in front of whatever it is they're modifying. So nante tends to go like like sonna, konna, and anna can't go in front of verbs because because they're they're not adjectives. They're nouns that describe other nouns. So you need to have a noun here. Nante can go both after nouns and verbs. So you'll see them after both things. But it acts as just like um, more like a generalizer. Well, this is more specific. But they have the same use in the sentence of just kind of showing the emotion of like exasperation towards something. Like, annani, konnani. I guess it, this would be like. So nante is allowed for both, so you could also add the ni here. So, so um, you got ni after all these, and then it would allow you to use it with a verb. Um, but the the this allows us to do it for one thing. <laughs> Sorry, this is for one thing, and this is for multiple things, basically. But otherwise, they have the same like English like reason why they're there, which is like I said was um, exasperation. So if you just said naka ni haida nai. That's a little bit boring. It just says, I cannot go inside. But right here, the main character is being very emotional with the chikshō. So the nante is kind of needed here for that. In English, um, I, I'm not sure how we would really like put that in there. Like, I just can't get in. Maybe like the just in the English sentence could kind of have that saying, what is the just doing in there? It's not really doing anything. It's just there to show how, how annoyed you are at the situation, basically. So it's a hard word just to translate because of that. I didn't know that. So like, oh, why can't I get in? Could be a way you could choose to translate it, but that would kind of need a lot of tone with it, because uh, it because otherwise it sounds like an actual question, and it's not a question at all here. It is a statement, like as if, like how could this happen? It feels more like that than actually how. Yeah. It's weird how it works. Um, can you read this word for me? Hikikaeshita. Hi, Hikaeshita. What's that mean? It means for tracing back one yeah. path. Perfect. That's exactly what it means. Good job. Good memory. How do you read this word? Um, Ropa. Perfect. You know how to read this one? Hanareta. Perfect. Hanareta. What does that mean? Mean to separate. Hi, to separate from. To be separated. Hi, hi. Um, and you haven't had any issues with that. Um, you did that perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. It, it was. Hi, ni shitsu. Hi. Kai ni shitsu o soto. Hanare Tonneru ni Suzuku Mon e To Hiki Kae Shite Nebari o Motta Motta? So Zuk Matsu? Matta, hi. Wait, waited. So, 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 is immediately or right away. Kind of. Um, specifically, it, it ten, I feel like it tends to be a relatively, like, it, 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 it has to do with the separating, yes. But it's describing how he's separating, which is not actually immediately. Uh, soto is actually a quiet sound. Soto. 
type of idea. So it actually means like stealthily in, in this context. Quietly, how not it is. Softly leave Hi. the meeting room. Hi. And at the tunnel, Tomnerumi, Suzuku, Mond, and so he, he headed towards, he's towards the direction of the door. What did Hikikaisa mean? Uh, he traced back. So he Hi. goes back the way he came. Hi. The toll here is marking the Eto is just more dramatic. The thing that he do that he tracing. Hi. Heto more dramatic. So he dramatically traces his way back to the door that he um that he Suzuku at the tunnel. So what is that? Mean? He so the continuing here is more the metaphorical. The thing that's continuing is the um the gate, the gate that the tunnel continues from is is more what it's saying. It, it is kind of weird. So it's the gate to the tunnel, basically. Exactly. Which is where he came from. He passes the gate from the tunnel to which he came to this island. Where the where the meeting hall is, yes. So he's going back to where that place is. Uh, specifically, he's gone back and to the mall. Nobody, the mall. Hi. Which is where nobody is matta. Where nobody Hi. waited. Yes. He's gone back, presumably for instructions or to. Tell I mean, it's going to take Kana a really long time story. with cat legs, probably, to walk back to Yasuragite if uh, nobody wasn't waiting there for him. Be a lot faster on human legs, right. I think. Uh, that's the reason. Oh, hi, yes. Um, so the main character walks away from the meeting room and returns back to the gate that leads out toward the tunnel system. Um, nobody is waiting by that gate. Do um, you know what? How to read this word? Close. It's da. Daki ageru. Daki ageru. So da here is um. This is the hit. This is strike. Nobody wa tsukue o tori ni uh te ni tori hairo no robo o matotte ori o daki ageru to. So these are things all that nobody did. He daki ageru ore. He put on a, a robe. Hi. And he does something to me. What is it that he do to me? He pushed me aside? Is that what he That's a good guess. Uh, Nobody mm. does do that to Khan a lot. What does Ageru mean? To so, Ageru is to do something for. No. Uh, so he yes. Lift, he lifted like, him like, up. Like, yes. So he, put, he, 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 he picked him up. He wrapped his exactly. arms. He, he the doggy is up the act of wrapping. Yes. And lift. So exactly. So daku up. is to hug to something. Carry him. Hi. Daki ageru is a pick up and a huggy kind he of cradle. way. Cradle. Yeah, cradle is a great cradle. way of putting cradle it. Cradle him. Hi. Do we have another sound effect. Bosom. Sosokusa is hurriedly. Soso! Type of idea. Soksa. Super fast. Like, haya um, sugiru. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Soksa. Let's go read the example sentence. So, 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 
quickly, hurriedly, return to the mansion. Yashiki. Hi. Yes. Can you read this word for me? Yasuragi te. Yasuragi. Correct. Uh, Yasuragi yes. te. Perfect. Um, what does dakiyagiru mean? Dakiyagiru is to cradle and lift. To Perfect. Up, What's the stem form? To lift up. Dakiyage. Um, can you read this for me? It's ma mo naku. Perfect. So ma is a word ma we have seen before from aida, um, meaning a space which can include time. In this context, ma mo naku is normally using is used to refer to time. So. There is even no time is used to mean before long or in short time or in no time at all is how it's used. Mamonako, mamonaku. There's like basically there wasn't a, a no time has passed. No but the next thing occurs. Hi. Let's go read no the example sentence. Hi. In no time. No time. So, mamo naku higuren no kimi wa. In no time had passed. So, in other words, in a short interval of time. Hi. Uh, Lord of Twilight, yasuragi te ni hiki kaeshita. Towards or to the yasuragi mansion. He traced back. He went back. Hi, yes. In no time at all, the Lord of Twilight retraces back, returns back to the, the, yeah, the Peace of Heart mansion. Can you read this word for me? Hi. Uh, ashi. Haya. So that would make uh, sense to think it's Ashi Haya, but there is Rendaku here. Because it's um, not married, it's friends with benefits. So, haya turns into what? Ah. Baya. Ashi Perfect. Baya ni. Hi. Quick legs. So, you know what? meaning quickly. Hi. Does mean quickly. At a fast, br briskly walk. What does tukita mean? Tukita. Tukiru. The kita. From from tukiru, tukita coming from kuru, tukiru, tuku and kiru, tsuku, tsuku and kiru, kiru from kiru from listening. No, Good guess. Kiru from kiru yeah. from kuru or kiru from some other. Uh, right. kuru is kuru, kiru is kiru. Oh, um, so if you take kuru, right, the te form of that is kite. There is no glottal stop in there. Hi, it is to cut. So here, kita, cut. So sik, sik, ki, it's siku, as in to pierce. So yes. to pierce completely, meaning arrive, cross. Crosses it. To cross. Yes, it is the crossing word. To cross through a location. Hai. To kita. Hi. Cross. And let's go read the line from the book. Cross through. Hi. Mamo naku. Nebari ga. Ashibaya ni. Yatte. Kite, from yaru and from kiru. Kuru. So here is kuru. So he he done he, he yaru and then he kuru. 
That means that in, in short time, nobody at a quick pace, uh, he came back. Hi. But I don't know why they would use the yadu there for I mean, Like, why does it have to be yatte followed by kita? Why can't it just be kita? So, it's true. Why can't it just of... be kita? You don't really use the word kudu, um, iku all that often in books by themselves. That, they're very boring words. Like, to come, to go. Instead, it's more common to use them in their helping verb position uh, to just tell you which direction someone is moving based off of where you are and to give them a different verb. So, yatte kuru means, just means he came to me. And with the yatte, adding an extra aggressive component to here. Um, kuru doesn't have, just means he came, but yaru insinuates specifically to do something in a aggressive kind of way. It's like when Ash beats someone, he says, Yatta! which doesn't actually mean yay. It means I did it, but it's aggressive. I did it. Yes. You know, um, and that, that's kind of how like Yadu tends to do. It's like a little bit of aggressive word of doing something. Um, sometimes it's used to give somebody something right because it has that rough meaning to it. So it's like, hey, you can, I'll give my dog food. But in this context, it's just saying he did it. So you wouldn't really say she ticked it that um, unless like there was like a specific, I guess, noun here. But basically, we want to say briskly he came. But if you just said um, ashibaya ni kuru, that sounds boring. Um, the yadu is kind of needed for that extra oomph, that because ne nobody's coming here briskly, right? So we want that briskness to be kind of in with the verb when kudu doesn't have that. It's just coming. Kudu's too boring. Hi. And ore wo daki age. Pick me up. So, so, kutsa. To, quickly. Yasuragi te e. Hikikashkaeshita. He came back to Yasuragi Mansion. Hi. Perfect. Yep. So in no time at all, Neverly runs up toward him, picks me up, and uh, brings me toward Yasuragi Mansion. Um, what does Tanaro ni Suzuku Mon mean? Tanaro ni Suzuku Mon, meaning the gate that led from the tunnel. Hi, hi, let's... That see. continues from the tunnel. Hi, perfect. And what does nante mean? Nante koto. It's at emphasis as hi. to the uh, statement. So this is a statement and it's at emphasis to the statement. Exactly, perfect. Can't you know how to read this word? Sho inside perfect Bookshop. what's a show side club no, no office office hi um can you read this phrase for me benga <coughs> machine um haranatsu ba i'm guessing it's hara you're right, it's a Thai. Taira na Niro. Taira na tsuba. Hiro no mo shio. Hi. Teppen ga taira na tsuba biro no boshi. What is this telling us? The taira na ba. Taira na tsuba is the tsuba that is flat, that is taira na. 
So the that Siba is definitely a possibility. Is... Oh, I'm sorry, Nels. <laughs> so if this is what we had, you'd be totally right, right? Taidena tu tuba biro no boshi. There's nothing here saying it cannot be a hat that has a very flat tuba biro, which is a wide brim. Nothing wrong with that. Um, in some, you could say the sentence here is a little bit, um, has multiple meanings you could interpret from it. But the meaning of this ga right here, teppen, makes it that it doesn't make sense for a teppen to do the verb kaburu, which, do you happen to know what kaburu means? Kaburte is to put on. Yes, to put on like a hat. Teppen isn't a like name a of a person. Teppen is a noun that means um, top, is what it means. So it doesn't make sense for a top to put on a hat. A person puts on a hat, not a top. The top is where you put the hat. So because of that, because of the meaning of teppen, we can make the assumption that teppen is actually not doing kaburu. So because of that, because of that meaning, we can assume the ga here is part of the relative clause teppen ga taira na. So na adjectives can basically act like verbs because in a way they're actually this is just a relative clause that was originally the sentence was tep teppen sorry teppen ga taira da. Like that was the original sentence, and then we made it into a relative clause describing the noun. Bullshit hat by doing that. That's all what's actually happened here, which is definitely hard to point out unless you know what teppen means. Which, what did teppen mean? The top. Hi. So in this case, this bullshit here was originally part of the word teppen, which would have been bullshit no teppen, which is another complicated thing, is the fact that the noun of a relative clause can be now, like can be a no noun. It doesn't have to be a ga noun or a ni noun or a no o noun. So here it's the boshi no teppen ga tairana. And this is only allowed due to making assumptions that the, the sentence needs to make logical sense, is what this allows, right? So this theoretically could be boshi ga teppen ga hirai, but then there's two gas in the sentence, so it doesn't make any sense. It could be ni. But it, it's a little bit weird to have me have this separated like that because tairana isn't really a location. It's not a verb. It's it's a noun that's describing the na adjective, right? And o, like I said, it's also it's it's not really a verb. So the other particles don't really make sense. So we can assume it's no because of that. So instead, it's saying it's a hat that has a flat what? Top. Top, exactly. So my assumption oh. that this is here is because you're going to be seeing a not adjective that is going to have some kind of thing with it that is being used to describe that not adjective in some way. Um, like you can't have knee, it just would mean you're doing the adverb knee for a adjective because adverbs can describe adjectives. It's just hat is not a adverb, so it doesn't Makes sense, but yeah, that, that's my assumption. Otherwise, we're seeing the word bullshit, and I was just being mean and made people practice the whole sentence because it's a hard sentence, and that's good, good, good things to keep in mind for stuff. Do you know how to read this word? Uh, explanation. It does look like setsume. You are absolutely right. If I look here at setsume, it actually has the radical for you to say. This word right here is nugu. No relationship at all. Shatsu nuide. What does that mean? The shirt. Hi. The articles of clothing, the piece of clothing. What did he do? He, he took them off. Nuide. Exactly. That is what it means. Can you read this word for me? Um, this is, and in a way, I think the relationship mm -hmm. is that when you make an explanation of, of something, you are unclothing it. In other True. Words, you are revealing, 
you revealing the the essence of things. So it's the same as taking hi, off hi, hi. your clothes. Yeah. The you only difference is that you're you're stripping the essence with words versus stripping the essence into the moonlight. So this is a physical I stripping. I, um, <laughs> metaphorical. <laughs> so nui ku nuku nui de. Here the other verb is. Okay, this had something to do with the weather. It's the cloud. No. Hi, it's not cloud. That'd be kumo, which is very similar to it. Yes, furueru makes you go buru buru. <laughs> to rain down. Good guess. Furueru means to shake. You'll see the same kanji in the word jishin. You know what that means? This jishin. Uh, um, uh, earthquake. Hi, earthquake. Hi. So when you see that lightning and whatever other stuff on the bottom, it's saying shaking. Who do they do? Can you read this example such as for me? Who do they do? me. Ita ma jutsu shi wa suba hiro no o shi o nui da nuku so nui da so the magician that was at the office Remove the hat with the brim. Perfect. Or here in this case, biro meaning wide. Hi, the wide brim. Hi, 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 hi. I'm guessing. You're 100 percent correct. Can you read this one for me? Uh, ni from niru, and then the second verb is. To throw away. Hi. Or to take up. I forgot what. To throw away. Steru. No, it's to throw away. Steru. So here, steru is modified to rareru. Hi. To be so me steru. Not the potential form. It's the passive form. Hi. So. I neglected it. It was it was neglected. You it's, can't think about it as neglected. neglected. It is to look at something and to throw it away. So neglect is really close. It's more like to forsake. So it is a type of neglect. It just neglect has forsake. multiple possible interpretations. So neglect is not wrong. That is one of the meanings. But it's specifically to ne neglect by doing nothing, right? That kind of neglecting rather than neglecting like punching your kid. <laughs> so here, what's being neglected, of course, is the I, machi, as if the machi has been forsaken, neglected from the gods. It's resonate with the verb forgotten in a way, like hi, hi, hi. Neglect in the sense that it's not in memory, it's forgotten. Mm, hi. Can you read the new word for me? Is this also from Nuku? So it is Nuku. Nuku. Hi. So it's Nugi Sitteru. To take off and to throw away. Perfect. Yep. The idea here is probably more like to just kind of get throw yeah. whatever thing he took off, like caring no mind of where he put it. And you already know that word, so let's go skip that. Can you read this word? Hi. Hibana. Hi, Hibana. Bana is the fireworks. Hi. It, uh, hi. Um, so, Hanabi is fireworks. Hibana is related to fireworks. What do you think Hibana means? Ah. Hanabi is fireworks. 
はい。An example of Gorakta is the uh, Kusha Kusha no Gingami. Kusha Kusha is very important for it to know that it's Gorakta. Uh, kusha Kusha is sparkling or? Good guess. It is crumpled. Foil. Crumple. The foil that crumble is garakta. Hi, garakta. Garakta means junk. It's definitely a verb. Uh, it's a noun. You're oh, right that ta is verb. normally a... a sign of that. You probably saw the to and thought it was to you, but it's to ishoni, which is and together. Garakta is a noun. So an example of junk is junk. this aluminum paper, silver paper, that's been all crumpled up. That's some junk right there. Some other pieces of junk was like um, a stuffed alligator and like a burned up ball and a dull knife. Uh, do you know how to read this word? Borrow. Yaku. No. This is chi chirabatta. 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 Any idea what it means? Chirab. Chirabatta. Kushi kushi no gingami o atsume. So it's chirab. And then, no, no, no. It's chirabaru. And then it turns into the ta form. Hi. Is that what it is? The most important part here is the chi part of chirabaru. But chirabaru means um, to scatter. So chirabata means to be scattered about. So we have the silver paper that's just folded up, scattered about a room. It is all dust. How do you read this word? Chiraru. Chi. Chiru. Chiraru. Chi. Chiru. Oh, chiru. Hi. So chiru means chiru. to scatter. Um, tends to be like in a like um, sometimes it's used like uh, if you have a tree and something like fell off the tree like flowers or something. So it's going to be scattered all off in the wind type of idea. But chiru means to scatter or to spread and stuff. Um, what's the stem form of chiru? It is a u verb. U verb. Hi. Hi. What's the stem form? Hi. Step. That is the te form. Stem form right? is. Stem form is chiri. Hi, chidi, perfect. Here's a new word for you. Can you read it for me? Tobi, chiru, to fly, scatter. Yes. Hi, so it's to come out, jump, and scatter. Hi, so this is more of an up scattering than a down scattering. Hi, because you're scattering upwards, you're flying, you're jumping. What's the te form of tobi, chiru? Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Hibana ga tobi chita. The sparks fly and scatter up. Perfect. Just, just scatter. Basically. Hi. Can you read this word for me? Scatter about. To spew out or in the way. Tataki tsukita. From tataku. And then tsukeru. Tataku is to hit. 
Tataku is the head. 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 To attach, so it landed a hit. Hi, hit. that's a good guess. So the tsukeru is here, so we can use a ni and a no o in here. What is shoryu o tataki tsuketa to the tsukure? So shoryu is the document. So he Hi, taps so it, he slaps it. Hi, yep. He slaps, slaps it, slandered the document. Onto the Perfect. Can you read this word for me? So, furi kakeru. Hi. Um, it comes from furu, which does mean so like he... to wave. But furi kakeru is, I feel like, hard to guess. It um, means to brandish something, like to brandish a weapon, for example. It can also mean to sprinkle over, which is what it's being used in this context. Sprinkle over. Furikakeru. So, so the idea is that you're shaking something. To brandish, as in. Yeah. So th take brandish, put that in the garbage. I was thinking of a different word that sounds exactly like this word. I don't know what it is. I'll, I'll have to share it with you when I find it. Uh, but this is to sprinkle it's the, over. It's, it's the, the shake and cover. Playing, right? Hi. You're shaking something and it's sprinkling uh, all over like you. Like shaking. Hi. Like the sprinkle, like the shake, shake a oh. salt, salt shaker, for example. You shake it so that it covers something. Hi. Uh, what's the uh, tef form? Like the chef. Hi. Tef form is, so it's fu from furu, so furi kake de. Furi kake de. It's a group verb. Yes, exactly. Hi. And different words that mean to brandish in Japanese, in case you're curious, is furi mawasu, also um, furi um, kaburu, also means it. That's not the right furi, though. It's the same furi of, the, of that. And also furi kazasu, like there, there's a lot of furus in to brandish, because the waving part could be the wave your sword around. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, I was I was totally wrong. Kakeru gives you the idea of covering something. So let's bring this. Let's give you this example sentence. It's like um, it's like to toss salt to sprinkle sh to spread right. it across something like that. Um, Roku o mato da. So he matota ma jutsu shi wa. The magician wearing the rope, the rope wearing magician, uh, ore no atama ni furi kaketa. They sprinkle on my face. Perfect. Atama is head. No, no, no. Head. Not cow. But I can sprinkle on my head. Can you read this word for me? Tsukande. Hi, what does tsukamu mean? Tsukande. Tsukamu is to capture. Yes, it is to close your fist around something. Perfect. And that took a while, but here will be our last line of the day. Shōsai ni agari. Roku to subabiro no boshi o nugi sitteru to Mado ishi, no, mado seki o tataki. Yobi 
Chita. Hibana o Nikai Sukande Oreno Atama ni Uri Kakeru went up to the office. He took off in a like just thrown off basically. He's thrown off his hat and his robe. He tataki, which is tataku, which is to I'm guessing to grab. To... No, it's to hit like you hit your TV <laughs> saying, Start working, TV. Ah. He slash, he hits it. Right. He hits the stone. The Madoseki. Right. And afterwards, he grabbed hold of the spark for the second time. I'm guessing that's what the Nikai mean. For the second time, he grabbed the spark. How can he grab the spark? What did he? He means a fully covered it. He can't move the spark. Is that what he did? Yeah. That is what he does. I'm guessing he grabbed the stone. He he no, he grabs the sparks. Well, he grabs the spark. He grabs he the hits spark. He hits the stone and sparks. out in the Toby Chita. Right. <laughs> I'm guessing he like he handles it. In Tsukamu, it's, it's not just grabbing, but he handles it. Like he gestures it towards Khan. That's so the that Furikaburu part. Takeru on his on his head. So he's, he's doing some additional conjuring on him. Hi. What does Furikaburu mean? I didn't hear what you translated um, as. Furikakeru is to sprinkle on Khan. Hi, hi, hi. So, yep, he sprinkles on top of Khan's head sparks that came out of the magical stone after he smacked it a bit. Like, get working, magical stone. So the Nikai here could be for the second time today. That is definitely possible. I personally translate this as, as he smacked it and took the sparks and then when there wasn't enough sparks, so he had to do it a second time is how I personally interpreted it. But there's nothing saying it couldn't have just been the second time today. I just don't feel like he had to, he was, he was smacking it <laughs> earlier today when he did the magical spell. Um, but it's been a while since I read the section where he cast the spell to know for sure if it's saying for the second time today, or it just took him two tries of sprinkling the, um, of grabbing the sparkles from the thing. There just wasn't enough sparkles for it. Normally it would be two grabs. So, um, the assumption would be right now, I would say it would make the most sense. Um, Grammarly, especially since it's a future tense sentence and not a past tense sentence. Um, other than that, perfect. Yeah, I'll stop. Thank you. 